Dr. J. Glory, Associate Professor of Physics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I am going to tell about the fabrication of nanomaterials and then in the art of uh, fabrication method, we are going to discuss. So, in this fabrication methods, we have uh, two types of approaches two types of approaches so there are two basic approaches that is two types of uh, fabrications are there so uh, there are two basic approaches to synthesize the nanoparticles so the synthesizing methods are top down approach and then bottom up approach these are the two basic approaches to synthesize the nanoparticles so we know that uh, nanoparticles is of the range of 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers so here uh, we have two types of uh, approaches to synthesize the nanoparticles one is top down approach another one is top up, bottom up approach so what are this uh, what is the top down approach and what is the bottom up approach so in the top down approach that is uh, in the fabrication of nanomaterial in the method of uh, top down uh, approach an existing solid an existing solid so which is a bulk material which is a bulk material and uh, this bulk material is reduced in size using some external radiation or chemical okay so top down approach the bulk material is reduced to a nanoparticle size using some external uh, radiations or chemicals while coming to the bottom up approach bottom up approach the nano structure is built atom by atom from scratch so here bottom up top down means that bulk material is going to reduce the nanoparticle size using some external radiation so bulk material it is reduced to nanoparticle by using some external radiation or chemicals so these are externally we are using to make the bulk material into nano size so nanoparticles we know that one nanometer to 100 nanometers of size called as nanoparticles in the bottom up approach so bottom up approach we have atoms atoms so by adding atom by atom we can build the nano structure that is nanoparticles nanoparticles from scratch by the scratching of this we will get the nanoparticles so top down approach existing solid or bulk material is reduced in size by using some external radiation or some chemicals in the bottom up approach the nano structure is built atom by atom from scratch so this is the figure which is uh, representing the fabrication of nano particles so here there are two methods top down method and then bottom up method so in top down in top down there is a bulk material so bulk material in the sense of closely packed atoms closely packed atoms when it is reduced in size reduced in size becomes as fragment fragments and then reducing this fragments to very less size that is we'll get nanoscale structures nanoscale 
structures. So, in top-down process, in top-down process, we have a bulk material, and that is reduced step by step, like a fragments, and then nanoscale range. We'll get nanoparticles. So, bulk material reduced to fragments, and it is reduced to nanoscale. While coming to the bottom up approach, there are atoms. So, atoms or atom by atom build and get clusters, then we'll get nanoscale structures. So, atom by atom adding together, we'll get clusters and then we can build the nano sized particles so nanoparticles of fabrication methods top down and bottom up so what are the methods comes under the top down and bottom up approach so in top down approach bulk material is reduced to nano size bulk material reduced to nano size Bottom up, atom by atom, build and we get nanostructure. So, coming to the top down, the methods to make the nano sized particles one is high energy milling, mechanochemical, laser ablation, and also we have ball milling ball milling method. So in the milling techniques we have ball milling technique, high energy technique, low energy technique like that. So in top down approach we have different techniques to get the nano particles. So ball milling, high energy milling, mechanochemical and then laser ablation. These are comes under the top down approach. Coming to the bottom of the approach, there will be chemical vapor deposition. That is vapor depositions or comes, various vapor deposition methods are comes under this bottom up approach. So chemical vapor deposition in Shackler CBD, CBD method. And then chemical vapor condensation. CVC method. Next, physical vapor deposition, PVD method. Then, sol gel, sol gel method. Then, hydrolysis. So, these are the different uh, techniques used to fabricate the nanoparticles under top down and bottom up approaches. So let we see top down approach clearly and we can go through one of the technique which is ball milling. So top down approach under this top down synthesis process of so fabrication bulk materials are broken. Bulk materials are broken into nano sized particles. Nano sized particles. So, in this approach, there is no control over the size. There is no control over the size. And the morphology of particles. And the morphology of the particles. So, when uh, fabricating the nanoparticles from bulk material to nano size, we should break the material. First, we should break the material. So, here there is a bulk material. Here in this diagram, there is a bulk material. This bulk material will be break into small, small particles like a powder, making as powder. Then, it is 
reduced again reduce it to nano sized particles nano sized particles so we should break the bulk material will get powder and then come and then reducing the size uh, will get nano particles so in this method we have a disadvantage that is there is no control over the size there is no control over the size and morphology of particles so when crushing or uh, when breaking the bulk material to get the nano particle lot of wastes will be happen lot of wastes so this is the disadvantage in this top down approach and we couldn't uh, get the surface we can we couldn't get the surface area properly because of irregular shape so surface area defects also be there when we crush the bulk material to a nano sized particles there are uh, many methods used in the top down approach to get the nano sized particles from bulk materials already we have seen in the previous slide let's see one of the method of uh, uh, top down is ball milling method ball milling method so a ball milling method is one of the top down method approach or approach for the fabrication of nanoparticles so this milling technique is used in this process of fabrication first uh, it is necessary to explore the different types of attrition mills for various types of materials with a variety of sizes of mills in order to upscale the actual production from the laboratory level to the commercial production of nanoparticles so high energy mills used for the fabrication of nanoparticles include attrition ball mill planetary ball mill vibrating ball mill low energy tumbling mill and high energy ball mill so these are the different uh, high energy mills used for the fabrications so there are attrition ball mill planetary ball mill vibrating ball mill low energy tumbling mill and then high energy ball mill so this is the figure which is uh, use it to explain which can be explained to understand the ball milling concept here there is a container and this container consists of a lid inside the container we have a tungsten then some powdered particles or seen so let's uh, see the explanation of this one mainly this ball milling method works under the principle is the basic principle that is uh, the basic principle of the ball milling method is small and hard balls are allowed to rotate inside a container so mainly here in this method small and hard balls are allowed to rotate inside a container so we have a container and there is some hard small and hard balls are there so these hard balls are rotated inside the container then it is made to fall on a solid base it is made to fall on a solid base with a high force to crush solid into nanoparticles so when the container consists of some small and hard balls and 
in this container there is a bulk material bulk material when this a small and hard balls are used to rotate used to rotate used to rotate with high force rotate with high force then the solid crushed into pieces and we get a smaller size particles that is nanoparticles coming to the construction and working here hardened steel or tungsten carbide balls are put in container along with the powder of particles of a desired material and here the container is closed with a tight lids when the balls are rotated around the central axis the material is forced to press against the balls when the balls are rotated around the central axis the material is forced to press against the balls so the milling balls impart the energy on collision and produce a smaller grain size of particles so when the balls the tungsten balls small and hard tungsten balls are rotated around the central axis with a high force so with that high force the tungsten balls press the material and make it into pieces so when it is uh, rotating the balls are rotating around the central axis the balls impart the energy on collisions so when they impart the energy on collisions they produce a smaller size of nanoparticles so ball milling also known as a mechanical alloying or crushing ball milling also known as mechanical alloying or crushing so the principle of ball milling is the small hard balls are allowed to rotate inside a container then it is made to fall on a solid base with high force to crush the bulk material into nano particles so when coming to the construction there is a container with the titan lid so when we use this titan lid when the tungsten balls rotating with its central axis so the material which is inside the container couldn't escape from the container so that we use uh, the titan lid to the container so there is a container with a titan lid and there is a, a fixed small and hard tungsten balls so which can be rotated around the uh, central axis so and uh, we place the bulk material inside the container then we allow this tungsten balls to rotate with central axis the balls impart the energy on collisions against the material can be crushed the material can be crushed will get the smaller smaller particles nano particles so likewise bulk material can be reduced in size and will get nano particles coming to the advantage the main advantage of this method is few milligrams to several kilograms of nano particles can be synthesized in a short period of time the main advantage of this method is 
we can get a milligram stool, few milligrams too, several kilograms of nanoparticles can be synthesized within a short period of time. And this technique can be used or operated at a large scale. At a large scale, we can use this type of technique. Coming to the applications, uh, this method is useful in the preparation of elemental and metal oxide nanocrystals such as cobalt, chromium, ferrous, etc. A variety of intermetallic compounds, a variety of intermetallic compounds of uh, nickel and aluminium can be formed with this. This method is useful in producing new types of building materials, fireproof materials, glass, ceramics etc. And already I told that the disadvantage of this top-down approach is we couldn't get a, a proper surface area because of uh, crushing the bulk material because of uh, crushing or uh, uh, breaking the bulk material the surface area becomes imperfect imperfect surface area becomes imperfect and a lot of wastes will be happens in the top down approach so this is the uh, drawbacks in the top down approach thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates